<laughs> I didn't anticipate this morning on Easter the morning that I'd be having my hand inside a sheet. And it was an absolutely gorgeous, stunning morning. That's the moon, a beautiful half moon that you could see. And all appeared to be very peaceful with the sheep and the livestock. And little did I know that the day was going to turn out to be quite eventful. Every morning when we are feeding, we have a head count of the sheep so we know if one is missing. If one's missing, generally that means something's wrong. So off we went to try and find this ewe here with the bag of fluid you can see behind is a sign that she started lambing, which we weren't expecting, but we thought we'll keep an eye on her, carry on with the feeding and monitor the situation. Good morning, it's Easter Sunday. So happy Easter. Um, we're just feeding round. We've got a few days to go now to lambing, so there's some wide loads. It's a really nice morning, very cold though, lots of frost on the ground. Um, and it looks like one of the triplets has started to lamb. She's been a bit of a problem this week. Um, she's had some calcium injection uh, and she's been a bit off it, so we're not quite sure what's going on there. We'll have to wait and see. Sometimes we're lambing at Easter, sometimes we're not. So we weren't really supposed to be lambing this Easter, just because the date falls differently every year. But, oh, I remember days on Easter Sunday, not too many years ago, where we spent it down at the vet with a problem with dead lambs and, and a prolapse sheep and all sorts of things. So Easter Sunday is quite often an eventful day for us. So we'll have to see whether today is gonna to be eventful in a good way or eventful in a not so good way. So that group are fed over here, sheep fed over there, and uh, the triplets are fed as well. So it's been an hour since we saw that she started, and so I'm starting to get a bit cautious. So we brought, we're bringing her down now, she's just in the trailer behind. Um, I've had a little feel, and, and I think that the lambs are in position. So I'm just gonna wait for dad um, as Nick is driving. I'm just gonna wait for dad and get just get his seal of approval before I perhaps try and lamb the first one. Kind of exciting, a little bit scary. There we go. Breathe in. Yeah. Yeah. Just fetch a bit of straw, Joe, would you be too thin? That's the idea. I it? pinched its nose. Oh, good girl. Do you think it's okay? Hmm? It doesn't look super duper alert. A little lammy massage. Oh, well, we're not bothered about that's alive, that's me from a girl, I think. Hey, look here. Well, what do you think, Dad? <laughs> oh, he's all right now. You want to go back up feel it cold? Not me. Not me. Hey, that's what we want. <laughs> So this sheep has been, she's been off it for, she's been off it all week, hasn't she, Dad? We gave her calcium injection. She's been sort of pottering around the field, been taking her water and food. And I was really not sure what the outcome was going to be. So we are delighted right now that we've got one so far. A uh, healthy little lamb, all right. I can do what 
Talk to your baby. We've just had to intervene for the second the second lamb to be born. It was born backwards, it was quite a traumatic struggle for the ewe. So she's gone down now and she's a bit traumatised. So I've got the colostrum out. I'm gonna get colostrum into lamb number one. Um because it's important, it's vital that the lamb gets something. It's been born just over an hour and uh, the ewe's not in any fit state. Do you think it's okay? So I've had a change of hat. She's now got two lambs. I've given one of them colostrum and we are waiting to see whether the third arrives naturally or if we need to intervene for the third. Because she's not been pushing, Right. Come on, home. baby. It's back end feels very. It'll be a miracle if this is okay. It is. Come on, baby. Come on. Have you another shake? Mm. It feels very, very funny. Its back end doesn't feel quite right. So the purpose of swinging the lamb, if you're not sure what I'm doing and if you think it looks cruel, it's to expel any fluid that may be in the lungs or the airways so that the lamb can breathe. Um, and it's a practice that I've seen being done um, in veterinary practices um, and by other farmers. Um, and I do believe that when you're trying to give a lamb the best chance of life, it is necessary. In this case, it didn't work, unfortunately. The fluid, a lot of fluid came out um, and the lamb had a very weak heartbeat, but unfortunately it passed mm -hmm. away after about five minutes. Was there anything happening? Yeah, there was. There's quite a bit of fluid came out then, Jerry. Was there? Mm. I don't think it's I don't think it's alive. I don't think it's alive. What more can Blow I do? Blow into its mouth. Like just just open its airways and just just you know, blow, not mouth to mouth, just blow. What do you mean? Yeah, just blow down its mouth. It's not alive. Just keep rubbing it. Keep simulating it. Just... It's something's not quite right here. Okay. Can you see the back end? It's very... It's just thin, isn't it? It's 
quite a, a long, thin lamb. You feel it, Miss. You feel it. Tell me, tell me what you would do. Mm. So in this case, as you can see, it's kind of a stressful situation. We were doing the best that we could with the knowledge and experience that we had. Um, the lamb was non-responsive by this point, so it was a last ditch attempt to see if we could get any signs of life. And unfortunately, we couldn't. Um, so then you have to turn your attention back to the lambs that are living. Um, there are two lambs that need our attention here. So I've just come back down to the house and I'm making up colostrum mix number two. Um, the whole process of this birth has not gone easily for the ewe. Two lambs born backwards. We've lambed all of them manually, like, you know, I had to put a hand in and, and help her. Um, lamb number three, I don't think is, is going to survive. And that is hard. Um, I guess you just, you know, you have to get used to it. It's the first one, really um of the of the official lambing season so you get used to like the shock and the disappointment and all the emotions that you feel but we just need to focus on the ones that are here get the colostrum in them so they've got a fighting chance because without it they won't so get the colostrum in make sure that they stay warm that she's being attentive and that they can get up and have a drink from her as soon as they're ready baby number three Hopefully they'll warm through and perk up a bit. Oh, the lamp's gone out. So it's now 1.30 and we've got one doing well and one not doing so well. So basically spending all of Easter Sunday trying to make sure two little lambs have the best chance possible. So we're tube feeding, bottle feeding, heat lamping, lamb boostering, the full Monty. Look, it's a lot brighter than you did, don't we? The lambs do. You don't have a shake. Oh, that's a bit better. And you can see by this point that the colostrum and the time under the heat lamp and a little bit of time has uh, really improved the state of the lambs. They look a lot more alert, a lot more comfortable, but they're certainly not out of the woods yet. So we carried on tube feeding the second born lamb as it couldn't work out how to feed. Lamb number one worked out how to feed, um, but we were feeding right up until we went to bed at night and checking on them and making sure they were okay. It was also bitterly cold, so it's a good job that they were inside. There's absolutely zero chance that they would have survived outside. And the following morning, my first waking thought was, I need to go and check on those lambs. So off I went. Um, they had two feeds before 7 a.m. and both looking a lot improved. Well, how have you ended up in there then? Of all the places to end up. So here I am with my angels who are very demanding and very wonderful. Hope you've enjoyed seeing how they came into the world on Easter Sunday and, uh, and how they're surviving. And I'll keep you updated with more content. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like and I will look forward to reading your comments and I'll bring you more updates very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.